What is up guys, it's Swammer here, back again with some more Great League action. Going to be sticking with that same team of Frostlass, Azumarill, and Defense Deoxys that I've been using a lot this season. Uh, it's been going quite well. Uh, there are definitely some weaknesses. Um, Haunter is pretty much an automatic loss. Alolan Marowak is quite difficult to deal with, but you can kind of get around it. Um, yeah, honestly, those are probably the the hardest two to get up against, but I've had such, uh, so much fun using it. Uh, Frostlass absolutely nukes things. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Yeah, so this team has been so much fun to use. I've been really enjoying Frostlass, uh, and definitely recommend building one if you've not tried it. Uh, so we actually get a Pachirisu on the lead. Uh, this is quite interesting. Um, Pachirisu uh, only knows electric type moves. Um, I think it's probably Thunder Punch, and I don't think it has Wild Charge, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to go ahead and shield this up, because I thought it could have been uh, potentially uh, Wild Charge if it did have it. It was just a Thunder Punch, so probably could have let that go through. But not going to shield the second one. Thought it would be another Thunder Punch, but it's actually a Thunder Bolt, so that does a fair bit more damage. However, we are going to be able to get to an Avalanche, no problem. Uh, and they actually choose to double shield, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Deoxys here, uh, and they come into Tropius. Uh, and so normally, this isn't a terrific matchup for Deoxys uh, because the counters are resisted, but with shields down and with a small energy advantage, I'm going to be able to get to two Rock Slides, no problem. Uh, this Leaf Blade isn't going to do too much damage, so just going to let it go. Uh, and this second rock slide is going to very nearly take out this Tropius. Uh, and we will have one back switch here, and we'll have to see what's in the back. Um, they might come back in with the Pachirisu, but I don't think they'll be able to farm us down. Uh, they actually throw right away, so that's totally fine with me. I'm happy to let this uh, Deoxys go down. I definitely think they could have farmed a little more than that. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and bring in the uh, Frostlass here and get straight to that Avalanche. This should KO the Pachirisu. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and swap into our Azumarill. They've got a Heracross in the back. It's a pretty spicy pick, uh, but it does not have a good matchup against Azumarill with both the Megahorn and the Close Combat being resisted uh, and play rough dealing super effective damage. So my opponent goes ahead and concedes that match. So... Uh, good solid win there. Um, again, Frostlass able to take both shields on the lead. Uh, so Skarmory on the lead. The way I usually like to play this is uh, throw the Avalanche right away, uh, do one more Powder Snow, and then swap into t Defense Deoxys. Um, it's four air slashes on the Skarmory to my Avalanche. So uh, doing one more Powder Snow means that they get their fifth air slash, and uh, there's a pretty high chance I catch the Sky Attack like I did here. Uh, and then they actually come into Snorlax, and I'm really happy to see this Snorlax now because Frostlass would not have a good time against it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go for the Rock Slides here. Um, they're farming up a fair bit of extra energy, so I'm going to go ahead and let this go. I know they beat me to the second Body Slam anyways. Uh, it doesn't quite KO, but one more lift does. Uh, and now I'm just going to bring in Azumarill. Uh, should be within Ice Beam range. Uh, and... They're likely going to get to a Body Slam here. They do get to a Body Slam. Um, I think I can probably do two more Bubbles uh, and then throw. Uh, however, they actually get to another Body Slam just before I throw. So I'm going to, uh, again, let that come through and then farm up a little bit more energy um, before going for the Ice Beam. Definitely should have thrown right away. Uh, Would have been better not to take that Body Slam, uh, to be honest. Uh, and they actually shield. Uh, and we're not able to get to that Ice Beam, so that's not great. Uh, it means that we're going to have to shield a double resisted Body Slam on Frostlass because we're just running too low on health. Uh, they come back in with Skarmory. I'm going to over farm a little bit, uh, but they actually get another charge move off. I was not expecting them to get one that quickly. Uh, so still got to farm down uh, or farm up a little bit more. Go for the Avalanche here. Um, Fortunately, it didn't throw at the same time as the Skarmory. It wasn't a fake CMP, so that was good. Uh, it's a Shadow Vic in the back, so Avalanche is going to absolutely destroy that, uh, and that is going to be a good game. So very fortunate that I could one-shot uh, the Pokemon they had in the back. 
But again, that uh, that is Frost Lattice. With Shadow Ball and uh, Avalanche, it has such good coverage on the meta. It can one-shot, um, you know, basically uh, Hypno. It can one-shot Defense Deoxys. It can one-shot uh, Marowak. It can one-shot so many things. Frostlass into Deoxys, the way I like to play this is, or sorry, into Obstagoon, the way I like to play this is to go directly into De uh, Deoxys. Uh, the counters are double super effective, uh, so uh, you deal tons of counter damage. They actually have quite a good response here uh, in Galarian Stunfisk, um, especially because it means that all of that energy I got from the counter damage onto the Obstagoon is going to be basically useless. Uh, so that's not great. Uh, but we're still going to throw those rock slides. They're going to have to throw um, an earthquake or two rock slides to take us out. Uh, they could do go for the rock slide. Actually, they probably can farm us down, but they will take quite a bit of uh, extra counter damage. Um, and now here we really have to come into Azumarill uh, because Frost Last would just take way too much damage from the charge moves here. Uh, and then we're going to go for the farm down. I probably should have shielded up that earthquake because... Uh, I don't really want to take another rock slide, it would just get me a little bit too low. Uh, so I go ahead and shield up the rock slide, but this puts me in a very bad spot because uh, they've got an Azumarill on the back and they still have that Obstacoon that's pretty healthy. So I don't think we're going to be able to come back. I think shielding up the Earthquake was um, what I needed to do and then it would have been fine to let that rock slide come through. Uh, or no shielding both, I think also would have been fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and swap into Frostlass. I want to see if I can uh, get some damage off with this Frostlass. We've got to start getting some shields. So this Avalanche is likely going to take a shield from the Obstacle, which it does. Uh, they built up a fair bit of energy. Um, here's one Night Slash. Not going to shield it. I know it wouldn't KO, and they will have a hard time countering down, though they might be able to. It is resisted. Uh, but Frostwass is quite squishy, but fortunately they actually throw um, their energy here, so that we're going to be okay just letting this take us out. Uh, and then we can come in with Azu and go for the Ice Beam. This is going to take out the Obstagoon. Uh, we still have a shield that um, Azu Meryl is going to have a hard time farming us down, so we're going to go straight for the Play Rough here. Uh, and this is going to really come down to the wire of can I get to the next charge move before they're able to bubble me down. So. Uh, we sneak in a bubble on their charge move. That's absolutely massive for us. Um, that is definitely going to be key. However, they are able to bubble us down just as we're getting the ice beam there. Uh, so super close match. Um, you know, one more health or one or two more health on a zoom roll would have flipped it. Or better yet, shielding up the earthquake and not the rock slide um, on that zoom roll would have made more than enough difference. So. Surfetched on the lead is uh, pretty tough to deal with, actually. Uh, Surfetched has great coverage against, you know, pretty much this entire team with Leaf Blade and Night Slash. So I'm going to shield up the first charge move. They actually just go for a Leaf Blade. So it makes me think they might be running Leaf Blade co close combat, and I don't necessarily need to shield up the next Leaf Blade. So I'm going to let it go. Uh, it is just another Leaf Blade, so that's pretty good. Um... The, I didn't mean to switch there, uh, but I think it had already gone through. I was trying to catch the Leaf Blade, but uh, that's fine, because uh, Deoxys is going to be able to come down and put uh, a lot of pressure on them to swap out, which they do. Uh, they bring in uh, Azumarill, which is totally fine. We can go for Thunderbolts here, uh, and we do successfully land the Thunderbolt, and now we're going to go for a second Thunderbolt here. It's a CMP tie. Uh, but I'm going to let this go. If it's Ice Beam, I'll survive. However, it is a play rough, and it does take me out. Um, I know I'm fairly close to Shadow Ball on the Frost Last, so I'm going to go ahead and go straight for that Shadow Ball. This is either going to take out the Azu or get the Shield. We do uh, get the Shield. Now we can come into our own Azu with Shield Advantage. Uh, and the nice thing here is that uh, one play rough will leave them in very nice farming range. Uh, and we still have a shield. It's a surfetched uh, coming back in to try and catch the charge move, but we are not falling for that. We were going to over farm all the uh, time anyways. Azumarill comes back in. We can go for this play rough, and this still should leave it with just a little bit of health. Yeah, there's one more bubble's worth of farm for us, and we'll have to see what's in the back. It is a stun fisk in the back, so this isn't over. Um, 
this is just going to be a rock slide, but I go ahead and shield it. I think that's a mistake. I know that the rock slide isn't going to be enough. They'll still need to land um, at least one more rock slide, uh, maybe two. So I go for the ice beam here. Uh, I don't have hydro pump. It would be really nice in this match if, if I did. Uh, and I'm going to try and sack the um, frost last, but it has enough health that uh, they're going to have to throw on it either way. Uh, so I was trying to catch the Earthquake, um, but if I had caught a Rock Slide or whatever, that would have been fine. And uh, because I had enough health left on that Frost Last, there was no way that they were gonna, just going to be able to farm me down. So I uh, was a pretty safe sack swap to try and make. Alright, getting into the next match here. We have Frostlass into Sableye. Sableye is another one that wrecks everything but Azumarill on this team. Uh, I don't really know how to play this. Sableye in the lead is quite uncommon, but it is uh, clearly going to give me some problems. I'm going to go ahead and shield up this return. Um, but this Azu is likely going to swap out. Um, basically, my only chance here is to lose Switch Advantage uh, because they choose to shield. Um, and then be able to farm up a lot of energy on either the Frostlass or Defense Deoxys. Uh, so we go for the play rough. Uh, honestly, the right play for me here is probably to shield my Azu, uh, because I need to keep it alive to uh, beat that Sableye. Uh, we're going to be able to get the last bubble we need for the play rough here, uh, and we barely survive. Um, however, I think it actually would have been better for us if we threw the Ice Beam. Uh, because that would have put them low enough that we could have farmed down. Uh, and instead we get farmed down and we have absolutely no answer to this Sableye. We're going to go for the um, Avalanche here. But they're just going to shield. They've got two shields left. Yeah, they, there comes the shield. Uh, I'm going to let this come through. Uh, and, you know hope that I can do something with Defense Deoxys, but there's really no point here. All they need to do is shield once, um, and they're going to be able to get to two foul plays before we can get to two rock slides, and there's no way we, that we can counter down. So I'm just going to let it go. I'm uh, going to throw the rock slide. Um, maybe they'll let me see what their third Pokemon was. Uh, and in fact, it is a Marowak, so uh, there's no way I was going to beat that team. Um, just... The, both the Marowak and the Sableye are bad for my team, and uh, yeah, the, there's just no hope against that. So, um, well played by my opponent, full credit to them for, uh, you know, making the plays that they needed to there, and, you know, not shielding on that Azu, uh, and not letting me farm them down ever and get a big energy advantage, but that was a really tough team comp for me to uh, come back from. All right, let's get into another set here. Hopefully we can uh, get pretty close to rank 14 today. Um, it would be nice if we could get there. I don't know if we're quite going to be able to get there on this set, maybe with a 5-0, but uh, that could be asking quite a lot. Uh, error finding match, so let's go ahead and jump back into the queue. Here we get a match against Kalos91. Frostlass into Toxicroak. So this is a pretty positive matchup for us. Um, the Sludge Bomb is resisted, and the Mud Bomb doesn't get stabbed. It isn't a great move. Uh, they actually swap into Stunfisk, uh, which is perfectly fine with me. I'm going to go for the Avalanche to get some nice chip damage. Uh, and we do get the chip damage. And then we're going to go for a swap into the Azumarill. Uh, we do catch the Rock Slide here, which is really nice for us. Uh, and then we're just going to go for a very aggressive farm down here. Uh, we're not going to shield. This is probably going to be an Earthquake, but uh, we can survive it. Uh, and we really want to farm them down. However, it looks like we're going to have to shield a Rock Slide here. Debatable whether I should have shielded the uh, Earthquake or thrown the Ice Beam or something instead. Uh, but I do have 100 energy here now for whatever is coming back in. Um, probably going to see that uh, Toxicroak. No, we see a Hypno instead. We're going to throw the um, Ice Beam here. Uh, we do not get a shield, but we do get some damage off. We're going to go for Play Rough now. This Play Rough should uh, deal quite a lot of damage or get the shield. We do get the shield, so that's totally fine. 
Um, they got a decent amount of farm there, but uh, we can probably safely come in with our defense Deoxys here. Uh, and most Hypnos are running double punch. Um, certainly in Canto Cup, Shadow Ball was preferred, but I have seen almost all of them running double punch recently. Uh, and they go ahead and swap into Toxic Croak. Uh, probably not the right call here to throw the Thunderbolt because um, I like I still need to throw a move basically to be able to uh, take them out with um, Frostlass unless I do a bunch more counters. So that's what I do. Uh, I do a bunch more counters and farm them down with the Frostlass. We are going to have to shield up this Frostlass. Um, Thunder Punch would do enough damage with the Confusions to put us very low. We're going to go for the Avalanche here. Uh, this is likely going to get the shield, but if it doesn't, it's going to get them very, very low. Uh, and then we're going to be able to beat them to that next charge move. Um, the Avalanche should probably be enough here to take them out. Uh, and it is, so that's going to be a good game. Yeah, so uh, definitely would have been better to go straight into Frostlass um, when they swapped in their Toxicroak at the end there. Uh, but, you know, throwing the Thunderbolt and getting ahead on energy on the Deoxys was fine too. Waiting for them to throw their energy was nice, because it made it safe for Frostlass to farm down. Uh, okay, Galvantula. This is really tough. Uh, usually what I like to do here is no shield the first charge move. Uh, it's exceptionally common for them to, uh, bait with lunge first, and lunge is resisted. Uh, and basically, uh, if you can successfully call the lunge bait and sneak in a powder snow uh, then you can beat them to that second charge move which is what you see here uh, and so that's going to mean that we can draw both shields from our from the galvantula and now we've got a two shield to none advantage they do have a lot of energy um, but we took both their shields so uh, this is looking okay for us we are going to shield up the lunge. Uh, they actually doubled up. That's way more energy than I thought they had. So uh, I'm not going to shield up the second one. I do want to save a shield for whatever's in the back. Then my opponent pulls off a terrific swap here into the Skarmory um, on the rock slide, which is double debuffed, so it does almost no damage. Uh, so very, very nice play by my opponent. Uh, I'm going to farm up a ton of energy on Azu. I'm basically going to try and stay always uh, at least just one bubble away from an Ice Beam uh, because um, I really need to make sure I have energy for that Galvantula coming back in. Uh, we do land the, sky, the Ice Beam on this Skarmory. Uh, we are going to go ahead and shield up this uh, Sky Attack. It would get us too low and uh, we aren't very healthy on the Deoxys either, so we're going to go ahead and throw the Ice Beam here. My opponent actually swaps into Galvantula, which is totally fine with me. I'm very happy to take that Galvantula out with an Ice Beam. They come in now with a Victory Bell, and since we're, we farmed up so much extra energy, we're able to get to an Ice Beam on this Victory Bell. Shadow Vic does survive an Ice Beam, but it's with basically one health, uh, and so we are able to take it out with a counter from Deoxys, and then counter down the Skarmory as well. So very, very close matchup there. Uh, I thought I was going to lose that for sure, uh, but then when they brought in that Galvantula into the Ice Beam from the uh, Azumarill, that was really, really positive for us, uh, and that was able to flip the match, basically. All right, we've got Frostlass into Stunfisk. So the way I like to play this is to um, go straight for the Avalanche. Uh, I'm able to sneak in an extra Powder Snow there, uh, but basically I shield the first Rock Slide, throw an Avalanche, uh, and then try and catch the second Rock Slide on either Azumarill. If they shield the first Rock Slide, I'll generally go into Azu. If they don't, I'll go into Defense Deoxys. Uh, and the reason is, is that Azu still has um, some pressure on them with uh, its charge moves. Um, whereas Defense Deoxys uh, can counter down um, Valerian Stunfisk after an Avalanche lands and have a ton of energy for whatever comes in. Uh, we do see an Azu coming into this Defense Deoxys. It's just going to throw an Ice Beam here, so we're going to be able to get to another charge move, no problem. Uh, we're going to build up to the Thunderbolt and go for the Rock Slide. Uh, hopefully this will get a shield. If it doesn't, I'll feel pretty silly. Uh, it does get a shield, um, and they actually through the charge move at the same time, so it was CMP tie. Um, the reason I go for the rock slide there is to force them to throw a move, um, because if they don't, I can get to another rock slide. 
Uh, so we're going to come in with Frost Blast now, and there, this Azure is low enough that we can um, build up some energy and then go for the Avalanche. Avalanche is going to be enough to take them out, even though it is resisted. Uh, and then Stun Fist comes back in. We can go for an Avalanche on that Stun Fist. Uh, this is going to take them out if they decide not to shield. They decide not to shield. Skarmory coming back in. I know that we can beat them to the first charge move, so we're going to go for the Avalanche here. Uh, this is going to deal a lot of damage, and they actually choose not to shield, so that's very good for us. Uh, pretty surprising, to be honest. We're going to go ahead and shield up uh, whatever this is um, with our on our Frost Blast, and then swap into the Azu. Um, if we get an Ice Beam um, through, great, but we're probably honestly just going to be able to farm them down with Bubble. Uh, they go for the Sky Attack. Um, I don't really need any shields here, uh, so and I know that they have to throw their energy to take me out. Uh, and Frost Last will be able to outpace them. So we're going to throw the Ice Beam here, uh, and then the actual, the extra bubble does take them out. So that's going to be a good game. Uh, very positive for us when we're able to land that Avalanche onto the Galarian Stunfisk. Galarian Stunfisk lead is quite tricky for this team to deal with, um, but if you can land an Avalanche with the Frost Last, then you are in a really good spot. Alright, so as you lead, the way I like to play this is to go straight for that Shadow Ball, uh, and this will put them at 5 bubbles, which is an Ice Beam, so one more gets them to the Play Rough, um, and so I swap in immediately after one more Powder Snow, uh, and they've got a Cherim in the back, so this isn't great for us. We're going to go ahead and go for the Ice Beam, uh, but so the reason I do that swap um, on the Frost Last is if, they go, if we see MP Tie and they go for Ice Beam, it does very little damage, and, and it can tank it. Um, but if not, uh, then I don't want to risk taking a play rough on the Frost Last, so I swap into that Azu. But uh, my opponent here Razor Lace me down, and Sherem does have access to Weather Ball, so I'm going to be forced to shield this. And they farmed a lot of energy, so I'm not really going to be able to over farm. Uh, so we're going to go for the Avalanche right away here. Uh, that does take them out, uh, and as Meryl comes back in, we're going to swap into our Defense Deoxys here to tank this charge move. Uh, we are able to tank a Play Rough pretty well, so that's um, nice that they threw their energy. Uh, Alolan Marowak is coming in, so this is not looking good for us. Uh, we do have a pretty significant energy advantage, so that's working in our favor. Uh, they don't shield the Rock Slide, so that's also very good for us. Uh, I need to call the bait here. This has to be a Bone Club for me to win. Uh, and it is a Bone Club, so that's really good. Going to be able to get off this next Rock Slide. Likely going to get the Shield. We do get the Shield from this Defense De or from this Marowak. Uh, and I have to Shield here and hope that I can beat them to that next Charge move. Uh, we do Shield, and we're just able to get to that Rock Slide. So um, this is going to take out the Marowak. Uh, but I think that we're probably too low on the uh, Frost Last to take them out. Yeah, we're, we're too low. We're not going to be able to get to uh, the Shadow Ball in time. And they've got enough energy on that Azumarill to take us out. So uh, very well played by my opponent. Um, I, I made it probably a lot closer than it had to be, honestly, uh, by successfully no-shielding the Bone Club. But um, just... They had way too much stored energy on that Azu, so very well played by them. Uh, we've got Frostlass into Stunfisk here, so you guys know the way I like to play this. Uh, go straight for that Avalanche. Again, I'm able to sneak in an extra Powder Snow there, so that's pretty good. Uh, gonna shield up the first Rock Slide, uh, build up some extra energy, and then go for the Avalanche. Uh, and my opponent actually shields this time, so I'm going to swap into um, Azu instead to try and catch the Rock Slide, which it looks like I've successfully done. We did catch the Rock Slide, so that's pretty good for us. Uh, and they build up some energy and then swap into Hypno. Uh, we're just going to go straight for Play Roughs here. Uh, Hydro Pump would be ideal in this matchup, but Play Rough does pretty well too. Uh, and two Play Roughs plus the Bubbles is generally enough to uh, take out a Hypno. We're not going to shield the Azu. Uh, I'm totally fine to uh, let them take us out here. Uh, we do terrible timing of our play rough there because uh, we do let a confusion through. Uh, however, we are going to be able to bubble them down, so that's not too bad for us. Uh, and it's a defense Deoxys in the back, so we're actually going to be able to get to this Ice Beam because we're resisting those counters, so that's really great for us. Uh, Ice Beam 
doesn't do too much damage, but it's nice kick damage, and um, we can pretty safely come into our own Deoxys now. I don't want to come into Frostlass because uh, they did get a fair bit of an energy advantage, uh, and the Rock Slides really hurt. So they're throwing. I'm expecting them to try and catch a move on their uh, Stun Fisk, which sure enough, they do try to do. Uh, and I don't want to throw my energy on DD into that Stun Fisk because it's uh, all resisted, double resisted, in fact. So we're going to swap into the Frostlass, go for the Avalanche here on the Stun Fisk. This is likely going to get the Shield. We do get the Shield. They're probably going to get to a Rock Slide, but one Rock Slide is not enough to KO. So this isn't going to KO us, and we're going to be able to make it to the next Avalanche. Uh, and conveniently, we're very low, so we offer no farming potential, really, for this Defense Deoxys. Uh, so they come in, and they actually throw their energy. This is a big mistake by them. They should just commit to the farm down there. Um, even if they had, I don't think it would be enough, because I do have basically um, a Rock Slide and a half stored on my Defense Deoxys. Uh, and so I definitely had a significant energy lead. Uh, but there was no need for them to throw energy there, and it certainly would have been a much closer game. Uh, but we're able to go 4-1 there. Again, Frostlass uh, doing so much damage when shields are down. Uh, really, really um, a strong pick in the Great League. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this vid video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.